TKO on Bronco Return Specialist, Rick Upchurch. Washington worked the Cardinals over, 28 to nothing. Number 24, Haskell Standback, was one of the appetizers on the Lion menu. struck one of the first blows. Pat McAnally, number 87, was the recipient of Darden's not-so-friendly persuasion. Bengals wide receiver lay motionless for a seeming eternity before being taken off the field. But this story had a happy ending as McAnally returned in the second half. Tucker Fredrickson, whose tough reception at the goal line was somehow not rewarded by a touchdown. In St. Louis, the end zone was clearly in view, but the path toward it was a treacherous one for both the Cardinals and the Philadelphia Eagles. With sudden impact. But the NFL offered another challenge. Heavy traffic over the middle. Rookie wide receiver Jerry Butler withstood his first foray into the Cincinnati secondary. He recovered to catch seven passes for 116 yards. And scrambling against Ohio State was certainly easier than running post patterns in the danger zone. Detroit tied the game at seven by taking advantage of a predetermined slant by Fal Tiny Howard Stevens was put down hard by Tony Davis. In spite of his 5'5 stature, or maybe because of it, Stevens walked away from the accident. Number 22, Eugene Mercury Morris, back in the lineup after missing opening day, the Miami Dolphins expected to return to their Olympian heights. But the Blue Mountain Mercury tried to scale proved a tough match. He hit his man Jerry Smith, but Smith coughed the ball over to the Oilers. Another view of the play showed that Kilmer had the time and Smith had the hands, but safety Ken Houston made Smith forget everything. Garland Boyette scooped up the gift and the Oilers now were in excellent position to take the lead at the Skins 27. and he is wrecked by Tony Peters and Springs is down and so is the ball. Dallas will have to punt. Springs made a good pattern. He did a swing and fake to the outside like he was going to go toward the sidelines. But watch what happens. Peters is a young man that beat out Kenny Houston and he can play out of Oklahoma. In this wicked hitting war against the Kansas City Chiefs, the Steelers sought their fourth straight victory. Here's a deep one over the head of Chip Myers. Is he hurt? Myers goes down inside the 20. Ben Edwards made a, a fine play. He he had to make some take some sort of collision course to stop Chip. Uh, it would have been a great catch, but that's what's needed at this time. Let's take a look at Chip. He goes down, tries to make a move, gets on Jack Ham, who's a pretty tough man to beat himself, goes up for the ball, doesn't come down with it, and boy, it's an unhappy landing. Well, while they attend to Chip Myers, we'll take a timeout. The score, the Pittsburgh Steelers 20 and the Cincinnati Bengals 6. Myers just had the wind knocked out of him. Coming up next, Grand Stanley. The Intimidators had returned. The other defensive tackle position was one of the NFL's quickest and most underrated hitters, five-year veteran Mike Lewis, number 69. Desire would be the keynote for the confrontation in Wrigley Field. Was clawed back, took the lead, and then sent Hayden into forced hibernation when a scramble for the sidelines turned into a rendezvous with Chicago's concussion corps. 
The Oilers' defense closed the Packers' usual avenue to victory off. Number 42, John Brock. Danielson, the acknowledged Lions leader, was the most telling blow. Without Danielson's experienced leadership, very good and very nasty. The closer one looks, the more evident it becomes that Denver packs a real wallop. On the other hand, Bengals struggled unsuccessfully to get their high-powered offense in gear. Defense. Still Sneed managed to construct a seven-minute, 14-play drive. Two successive times, showing fine extra effort on the first after a pass in the left flat. It was a fair. The Bucks registered their first touchdown of the season at the expense of number 33, Heisman hero Tony Dorsett. Jim Starbuck was quick to put his team ahead, but Redskin linebacker Harold McClinton made him pay dearly for the points. Each Dolphin kickoff became a new experience in masochism for Bear return specialist Brian Bash. Austin passed to Dennis Holman, who was hit by Neil Craig and lost the ball to Tom Casanova, a rapidly emerging star. The Patriots were number one in some things too, such as defense against the rush. discovered that they would have to be able to take punishment as well as dish it out. For a while, the defense still operated. Oilers have an offense of their own, and his name is Earl Campbell. Dallas's once powerful doomsday defense stopped Campbell on this play, but it was only an isolated moment. Earl the Pearl had quite a Thanksgiving feast, gaining 196 yards. Then hyped by this emotional spiel, the Redskins go hunting scalps. Against the Giants, however, tried and true intimidation tactics cost more than they were worth. 